How's it going everyone? My name is Chase and welcome to my guide on how to win consistently in arena as a duo sloop. So short little disclaimer, some of the stuff that we go over in this guide may not be the most ethical way of winning a game, but it's definitely some of the most effective ways. So just kind of keep that in mind. So with the arena getting a revamp and the competition of courage coming out, I decided to give arena a shot. And I think I had the meta and kind of the winning strategies down. The competition of courage requires you to play at least one game of arena get 25,000 silver, which is the points in arena, and win at least 20 games. And once you complete all that, you get three skins, which I needed for my completionist series. Like I said, this is for the duo sloop only. I will be coming out with a guide for the galleon pretty soon though. So I am probably not the most certified person to make this guide, but there are quite a few people that are making guides with combat, arena, and just like overall uh, ship management. So if you want to check those out, links will be down in the description to their YouTube channels. But let's crack into the guide. So there's a pretty big difference between open crew and closed crew. If you do closed crew, you will be going up against other pre-made groups, which sometimes they can be pretty sweaty. So in my experience with open crew, you're probably going to get somebody that seems pretty new to the game, but sometimes you'll get somebody that is extremely good. You just kind of judge, got to judge their gameplay to see how good they are. But the whole goal is really to just kind of stay on your ship. If you are a pre-made group, you can uh, leave your ship a lot um, as long as your teammate knows what you're doing and they can hold down the ship by themselves. But with open crew, it's probably the best idea just to stay on your ship and not worry about boarding. Points, how do you get them? So let's start with the chest. The chest will give you 150 points on the first person to dig, the, dig up the chest. Um, after that, you can turn it in at the ship outpost located with the red smoke. It's a stationary ship in the middle of the map. Um, you can turn it in there for at least 1,000 points. Probably your most reliable way of getting points is hitting cannon shots. These do not count if you hit their rowboat. Each cannon shot hit will net 40 points. This counts for chain shots, blunder bombs, fire bombs, and regular cannonballs. And for the last way of getting points is eliminating pirates. You can get 5 points for the down and 5 points for the full elimination if they do not get revived. If they get revived, you only get the, five, the initial 5 points. Let's talk about your loadout. In my opinion, the loadout is basically up to personal preference. Everything is pretty strong. Everything can kill just fine. Um, the only thing I wouldn't recommend doing is sniper pistol, just because the sloop combat is really, really close combat. Um, unless you're going out on the, to the island to get the chest, that is the only time I would maybe recommend bringing the sniper pistol. Other than that, sword blunder, sniper blunder, pistol blunder, pistol sword, they all work just up to personal preference. Rule number one, priority number one, whatever you want to call it, communicate, 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 communicate. Communication is the biggest thing in arena. Letting your teammate know what you're doing, what's going on. Like sometimes they're down below deck, they can't see. Sometimes they're off the ship. They don't know that there's two ships coming straight at you. Let them know, like you've got to communicate whether you, I mean, even using the communication wheel, that's fine. Use something, type, use a microphone, something. Let your teammate know what is going on. But keep in mind, if you are using an open mic or the communication wheel or typing, the other teams can see what you're doing if, you, if you're close enough. If you're close enough to somebody and you say, hey, I'm jumping on the ship, they know to expect somebody jumping on the ship. Or hey, I'm climbing up their ladder, they know to check ladders. So just kind of keep that in mind. So what is the first thing that you do whenever you load into a match? You might be thinking, oh, let me go get supplies. Let me get cannonballs, throwables, chain shots. Let me get wood. Let me get food. No, do not do that. The first thing that you need to do is get moving. Raise your anchor, lower your sails, and catch wind. You need to put pressure on getting that chest at the start of the match. If you get that chest on your ship early, it's a very good thing. Um, you want to try to hit cannonballs if a ship gets close. Um, sometimes it's better to just like peel off a little bit and catch somebody on their backside. Um, just kind of up to you, but head towards that island that is located by the, the long purple stringy thing, kind of like a reaper chest, but it's purple. When you are headed towards the island and you're getting close, start listening for single cannon shots or that whistle that happens whenever a player is shot out of the ship. If you can narrow down the ship that shot somebody off, try to take advantage of that. That person is solo on that ship at the moment. So let's talk about disabling a ship. What do I mean by disabling a ship? I mean, make it so they cannot move. 
a lot of people's first instinct whenever they think of that is anchor them do not do this use your chain shots to their your advantage knock down their mast knocking down a mast on a sloop is basically the same if not more effective than anchoring them because you not only do, does the mast have to fall the mast you got to raise the the mast back up you got to put at least one board on there and then you got to lower the sails if you hit another cannonball onto that mast after they have put a board up boom the mast falls again so it's just as effective if not more effective don't get me wrong anchoring is a very viable strategy but you just got to keep in mind that there's only two people to do a basically three-man job on a sloop so just keep that in mind sometimes it's best just to stay on the ship and try to land your cannon shots but if you are able to anchor a ship and knock down their mass that is basically double the stuff that they have to do in order to get moving again at this point whenever the ship is disabled start working on other areas hit the upper decks hit the the helm or the steering wheel hit the anchor make it so only one person can raise the anchor if you start seeing the mast go back up start aiming your cannons towards the ropes that way you knock the person off the ropes and then the, the mast falls back down the goal here is not to sink them do not try to sink them as fast as you can do not go over there and spawn kill them so they can't repair the ship if anything go over there and repair the ship for them until they scuttle or something or they kill you or they end up sinking anyways land your cannon shots where the canopy is uh around that area that way you hit upper deck shots that way they don't take on as much water but your goal is to keep them alive as long as possible that way you can hit as many cannon shots as possible now scuttling is a legitimate strategy if you are not able to recover your ship if your ship is on fire or if it's disabled and it's just too much for you to handle look towards scuttling it's a leg legitimate strategy like i said if you are early in the game and you don't have very many points scuttle because if you get stuck and they just farm cannons on you like you're supposed to be doing to somebody else they get they can get a ton of points and get a massive lead on you um you want to be able to keep them from getting that many points if it happens to somebody else that's completely fine but you want to prevent them from getting points if it means scuttling then scuttle but if like i said if it's in the end of the match and you're a little you're still ahead and scuttling will put you in second place or even last place or whatever then just do what you can to try to repair your ship focus on bucketing focusing on uh repairing holes stuff like that maybe knocking people off cannons who knows you do not get any more extra points for actually sinking the ship they only lose 1000 points if they are at 100 points or something like that they only lose the 100 points they don't go into the negative so if it is not the leading team don't worry about sinking them but keep in mind there is a very limited amount of cannonballs so if you get the opportunity have send one of your teammates over and have them siphon off cannonballs if you're able to do this if you're not able to do this is completely understandable make sure you're watching your surroundings as you're doing this because if you get caught with your pants down just ramming a ship you may end up being the one that ends up disabled next so if you are able to do this pretty early on you're probably going to have a pretty big early lead now your goal is to get the chest on your ship whether another ship has it or it's still on the island your goal is to get that chest so the reason behind that being is like i said the chest is worth 1000 points and that is a lot of points in the sloop arena so now that the chest is on our ship we can use it as a safety net basically what i mean by that is if a team is pretty close behind us and we're in the lead we can start looking towards turning the chest in and securing the win the game is basically in your hands whenever you have the chest try to utilize stationary cannons whether they're on towers islands or even the turning outpost i believe has six cannons on it make sure to utilize those they do not get affected by waves it is easy points just jump off and hit hit a ship that's passing you or something it's easy easy points make sure you also utilize other teams cannons if you're on another ship and you manage to kill both teams or both uh teammates make sure to utilize their cannons you can shoot their cannons into another ship use their cannonballs into another ship as long as it's not yours and get points for that make sure you also utilize these sloops maneuverability the sloop has the highest maneuverability in the game um, make sure to use anchor turns harpoons anchor turns is one of those things that you need to communicate with your teammate with drop the anchor and both of y'all raise it up really quick you can do it in a matter of seconds and it's crazy um anchor turns 
just or um not anchor turns harpoon turns you can harpoon a rock or shallow waters and hold that break and turn on a dime utilize those it is very very easy to catch people off guard sometimes people like to camp the turn in spot to try to sneak your chest and and take it and turn it in themselves um just keep this in mind look out for mermaids around the the turn in spot look for a ship that's just kind of chilling there that's an obvious one um, but keep in mind that it does take a couple seconds to turn the chest in, so that's an easy one blunder for them. Um, just keep that in mind. Probably last, but definitely not least, use your sails. Utilize them. Raise them, lower them, catch wind, use dummy sails, all that good stuff. If you're going up against a ship and y'all are going parallel to each other, raise your sails and get three cannon shots on them rather than just one or something. Um, raise your sails to turn faster. Raise yourselves to um, get in a turn battle with somebody and just hit cannon shots. Whenever you hit your cannon shots and you're going up against another ship that's also shooting cannon shots at you, make sure you try to hit their cannon. Get that guy off of their cannon. If you can do that, you can win this, no problem. Make sure you are always keeping your eye on the scoreboard. People like to go up and try to find an AFK ship and just AFK farm that ship with their cannons. Um, so sometimes somebody that has maybe three, 400 points and you have 1400 points or something like that. Next thing you know, two minutes later, they have 1900 points. Just pay attention. You've got to kind of pay attention to what's going on. Um, if somebody has the lead and you're not able to, um, you're not able to turn in the chest to catch that lead again, um, go for the sink, go for that sink, go over there, um, try to disable their ship, send somebody over there to spawn camp them. And send some and keep the other person on the ship and hit your cannon shots and go for the sinks hit your lower decks hit as many as you can and make sure they do not they are not able to repair and and bucket using these strategies should net you a pretty decent amount of wins it's just using them in the right order at the right time in the right place it's up to you you've got to util i can give you the information but you got to put it to good use um i personally did this in open crew i felt like that was like the, the best way for me to get um wins what I did was I went into a game. If my crewmate was absolutely hot garbage and didn't know anything about the game or something, I would um, leave the game after that game and try to look for a new one. Once I found a decent crewmate, I mean, try to convince him to stay and, and win a few games with you. Um, but basically, an open crew, the goal is to stay on your ship. Run the ship for yourself. Um, play it as you're playing solo. Leave your teammate to do whatever he wants to do. If he's able to steer... Let him steer. Just make sure you do sails, um, cannons, repairs, all that stuff. Just let him steer. Let him do his own thing. Um, play for yourself. And it came out pretty good with me. I, I won, like I, th I believe, um, six or seven games in a row at one point um, for my last 20 wins that I needed. Um, and I plan on going in the future to get that 240 wins for that. Um, I believe it's a cut list that you get for that. Um, so I plan on doing that. Well, I think that is about it for this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed, but more importantly, I hope you learned something. That is the most important thing, learning something. Um, if you took anything away from this video, let me, know in the, let me know down in the comments. And let me know also if you have any other tips, tricks, um, any other strategies that you utilize and works out really well for you, let me know down in the comments. Um, I will put together a pinned comment that basically goes over some stuff that I may have missed. If um, I, I personally think of stuff or if you think of stuff and let me know down in the comments. But like I said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content um, kind of like this. I have a completion series going on right now on my uh, YouTube channel, so check it out. Um, it's pretty interesting. We're having a good time. Um, but yeah, that's about it. May your anchor always be raised and your sails always catch wind. I will see you all next time. Later. Here we go. That was a good first place. It was a good round. 
uh it's kind of weird two people were doing like a team death match on the two boats but then um there were two other ships that are actually trying but we came out on top we were able to farm green pretty hard at the start and then yellow tried to get their get the chest and try to get out but they uh i had him trapped in that little cove area i don't know why they decided to go in there so but pretty good first place we were solo in that one I'm pretty pretty proud of that one 